Hey guys, welcome to my first vlog. Over the next month, I'm going to be making five of these videos and entering them into the Poker Stars Platinum Pass giveaway. If I'm lucky enough to actually win the giveaway, I'll receive a one week all expenses paid trip to the Bahamas, which is pretty cool. But even more exciting, it also includes a high stakes poker tournament entry ticket that's worth $25,000. The first place prize in the tournament is guaranteed to be over a million, and I think it's probably going to be over two million, so I'm super psyched about that. In the videos, I'm going to take you along on some of my day-to-day -day activities. Uh, we'll play some poker and explore some of the reasons why I would be a good pick to win the giveaway. I also have some ideas on how you might actually be able to help me win, so if you're interested in that, Stay tuned to the end of the video and we'll talk about that. Anyways, I'm super excited that you're joining me on this adventure. It should be interesting, fun, brand new experience. So without further ado, let's jump into this first video. I live in a sleepy suburb of LA called Westlake Village, California. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a secret agent or like a veterinarian, but that didn't work out. So now I'm considering other options. I figure with people like Andrew Nimi and Joe Ingram pulling down millions a year in YouTube ad revenue alone, I should at least give it a shot. In the meantime, I've picked up a few hobbies to keep me entertained along the way. Since I'm not pulling down that YouTube money yet, I also do work in corporate finance. Hello, Peter. What's happening? Uh, we have sort of a problem here. Yeah, you apparently didn't put one of the new cover sheets on your TPS reports. Oh, yeah. Just kidding, my job is nothing like that. <clears throat> right, boss? I actually love what I do, and here's me presenting on a project I'm working on. Excel can only go to a million rows, which I used to think was a lot, but uh, <laughs> actually, it's not a lot. Uh, yeah. I just cracked everyone up with an Excel joke. So, that's pretty much an average day in the life. Let's jump into some poker stuff. Um, I was thinking a lot about the question of, you know, what does poker mean to me, the prompt of the video, and it's a tough question because there's a lot of different ways to answer that, but I figured I'd tell you a little bit about 
kind of my background in poker and then kind of just come, you know, work up to those conclusions. So the first time I ever played poker was actually with my family on Thanksgiving. Uh, We were playing for quarters and my sister managed to win the whole thing and cashed out for like six dollars. She did have a little bit of unfair assistance and coaching from my grandma, uh, but that got me pretty psyched about the game. But my, fam- my family doesn't really play that much poker, so there wasn't a lot of other opportunities to play, and it kind of dropped off for a while. Then, when I was 15, me and my friend John Michael watched the 21 movie, the MIT Blackjack team, and I remember on one of the first scenes when the main character is in math class with Kevin Spacey, and they talk about the Monty Hall three-door problem, that just blew our minds. We paused the video for like an hour and argued about how could this possibly be true? You know, if you eliminate one door and there's three doors, you have a 50-50 shot, right? Well, you don't. It's a 66% always change to the other door. Anyways, we pretty much made it our mission to evangelize that concept to as many people as possible. And that was a really good time. So that kind of got me re-excited about gambling. And then when I turned 21, I went to the casino for the first time, played some poker, and promptly lost 300 bucks. So I realized, okay, not ready, not ready for this level yet. Throughout college, I played some micro stakes online and some $20 sit and goes with buddies, but I didn't really find that group of people who was down to play on a consistent basis until later when I got my first job. I was having lunch at a sushi restaurant one day and I see this kid watching poker on his phone while having lunch with a friend and I was like, okay, I got to meet this guy. Turned out he's my buddy Alex and two years and 38 home games later, uh, played a lot more poker, learned a lot, and had a really good time. What initially drew me into the game and, and gambling in general is the idea that you could make money without doing something that's typically thought of as work. Uh, and that idea was very appealing to me, it still is. Um, and then once I kind of picked up the game, uh, the the challenge of understanding a game that seems so simple but's actually so complex uh, has been really fun. I mean, poker is a game where you can learn the rules in 10 minutes, but you literally could spend a lifetime, you know, learning new strategies and, and techniques and approaches. So that's something I really love about it, and I have a lot more to learn. So, yeah, exciting road ahead. And I guess the third thing is just the friends and the camaraderie until I found the group of people I play with now, uh, that piece hadn't really sunk in for me, but we just have a great time. You know, we throw back some beers, we joke around and some of my friends from the game have become friends in other areas of my life too. So, uh, it's just a great, it's a, it's a great all around time for everyone. So, Thanks for watching my video. Uh, if you really liked it and want to help me out, uh, I thought of a few things that, that could help me make better videos and win the competition. So obviously, if you throw me a like, that'd be awesome. And if you could comment with any positive uh, or negative feedback that could help me make these better, that would be awesome. I do have four more videos I need to make, and I'm brand new to this whole vlogging and editing thing, so any feedback would be awesome. If you really, really loved the video, I think it would be really cool if you could tweet it out at Andrew Nimi, Jeff Gross, and Bill Perkins. Uh, that would mean a lot to me, and I just think that would be really cool. Anyways, thanks for watching to the end. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.